good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to LA to LA episode five. And I have the, the <laughs> Lamaya Good Bellinger. I don't know if I have a D. Like, or say the D. <laughs> <laughs> Um, today we're going to be talking about endurance, you guys, and having patience. And we're not just talking about entertainment, we're talking about all walks and paths of life. And we might even want to drop some gems, y'all, because this, this woman right here, you're going to see, y'all going to see. <laughs> so, just introduce yourself okay. to everybody who may not know you. Okay, um... My name is Lamaya Good Bellinger, okay? <laughs> Gotta make sure we put the Bellinger, I had to change it and all that, you know what I'm saying? Gotta represent. Um, and I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm an actress, I'm a producer, and I'm a women's advocate. Um, and is there anything else I should be saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I think that sums it up. Yeah, that's about, that's about right, everything you do. Oh, I yeah. left out music. Yeah, yeah. Like, like one point. You know, it's, yeah. I'm so far removed from the music thing. It's so funny because people always go, "Well, how come you never say you're a singer?" I'm an entertainer. Yeah, you're you're overall entertainer. I'm an entertainer. But you are a singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, the first time I ever seen you was on a Video Girl. Oh my God, <laughs> Stacy. I was so mad about that movie because I'm like, stuff don't film in Van Rio. So when something filmed, I'm like, why am I in this? Who are these people? What's going on? Why did they do a movie? I didn't know about it. And I think I had a classmate who was like an extra. And she came to school and she was bragging so hard about it. I was so mad. Wait, I was so mad. How jealous. old were you? I was in high school. That's was so crazy. She made me feel old. I was in high school. What were you going to do with it? I don't know. She was She must have looked older. Look, she, she was an ex, it was like I think of the funeral scene or something like okay. that. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm like, wait, what kids was this? Right. Days running around in like twelve. I wanted to be in it. No, I did. Look, let me tell you, I'm like, these people did film the movie. Yeah. I wanted to be anything that was ever filmed in Baton Rouge because nothing was filmed in Baton Rouge. I know, and it was crazy because even at that time, um uh Ty Megan and Datari had a whole thing about shooting there mm -hmm. um, because Datari really kind of wanted it to take place there. And, they, and then the whole filming there thing just made sense. But I feel like they were kind of like the first people on that learned the inside scoop on it, why it's so good to film mm -hmm. there, um, and all the breaks that you get and stuff like that. So. We were kind of, it was kind of before our, before our time, ahead of our time. No, y'all definitely were ahead of your time because after that, it was like, now we got like this crazy funding yep. for filming in Van Rouge. Then they built this huge studio out there, like, yeah. And then they started to kind of film stuff there, like, right after that, you know, or like, maybe a few years after that. But oh, now it's years. kind of gone back down to how it was. Mm -hmm. But like right after that, like I would say it was, that was about, whew. That was a long time ago. That's what I'm trying to oh, say. We might have to get the like, dates on, on video, girl. And I'm like, I'm. I think it might be close to like a, let's see, I'm 40. That was like almost, that was like 10 years ago. Because I'm yeah. knocking on my 10 year reunion. Yeah, I think it was longer than that. But yeah, yeah somewhere, so it, it might have been like 15. 15. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, but I know it was like a little before its time. But we had so much fun in that. I think that was my. Oh no, um, I came down to during Eve's Bayou. Okay. Because originally I was playing Megan older and um, Journey's sister Jazz was mm -hmm. playing her older in a scene that they actually cut out. Okay. So we went and filmed there too. So actually that was my second time, but I was a young yeah. adult at this time. So I'm like, oh, I'm going away to right. shoot. Like, this is late. I got so for East Bayou, y'all shot that in Van Rouge? No, or we shot something somewhere else. Um, we shot that. I, I would have to look. Um, but I know it was in, no, I think we was in New Orleans. No, we okay. were in New Orleans. It looks like it was somewhere like New Orleans. Like. Yeah, it, I think it was New Orleans. No, it might have been. I might have to check it. Because I was, I was only like um, 16 or 17 at that time. So geograph you know, yeah. geographics didn't really matter to me right, at that right. point. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just taking a plane somewhere. Let me tell you, Baton Rouge compared to here, like, 
it's like this little bit. So you know, it's, when I moved in, you know it was like a culture shock. Oh, like, I know. You've been there. It's I like people don't realize how different it is. It's so different. It's so different. The people are different. The energy is different. The the, the food is different. Everything is just yeah. so different. So this was like a complete culture shock for me. You know, I mean, I'm not mad about it, but <laughs> yeah, but you for sure like okay, there's yeah. some things, yeah. It's just interesting um, that we both have ties, like a random place that I would have right. ties to. Right, that's very is Baton Rouge. Yeah, yeah, people are different. The culture is different. And coming from LA to Baton Rouge was a culture shock for us as well, but it was so refreshing. Mm -hmm. It was, we had so much fun. I, I like didn't know kids just play 24 hours together and just like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing. Oh, we going outside? Yeah. I also learned about switches though, okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna say that. You know, it's 22, you can't, you can't do that. No, 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 okay. So you've been doing this your entire life. Yeah. Like, Since do you even seven. know, so seven, you don't even know a life that's not entertainment. I don't. Have you ever had a moment where you wanted to? Do something else? Uh, I thought I did. Yeah, I had a moment. Um, you know, I've always had this idea in my mind of being a businesswoman. Mm -hmm. And in my mind back then, the only type of businesswoman you know is somebody who has like a nine to five, you know, a lawyer, a doctor, yeah. you know. Now, I clearly wasn't going to be a lawyer or a doctor. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> but a secretary would do. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know, I wanted to wear suits every day you know i thought that's what being a businesswoman was yeah. so um i actually i was with an agent her husband mm -hmm. was had a law firm my agent's husband had a law firm and i was looking to make some money i was getting a little older i'm like okay i need to make some money um and i was so excited she was like yeah he said you could come and be a secretary for him and I was so excited about this job because I was just like, oh my God, what am I going to wear? I went to JC Penney. Look. Yeah, I went to <laughs> the oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> what? The suit, jackets, and all that. And I was ready. Day one, I come in there. I got my outfit on. I went and picked up donuts for the office. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, you girl, I was up, feeling it on time, everything. Got there, got some tasks, did not perform very well. By day three, I was over it, and when I got that check, I knew I would never do it again. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. I think I just had a need. I had a desire for like some structure. Yeah, because you know this business. Yeah, it's no structure really. No, you're running a race with no yeah. finish line. Mm -hmm. Okay, endurance. It endurance. <laughs> you just running off a of sheer faith, and it takes you in so many different. It has the potential to take you in so so many different ways. You know, I think I was looking for some kind of stability, mm -hmm. which I've learned that you have to create that space. Yes, I agree. In this industry, definitely. for yourself. And I come from, I always want to do entertainment, but I was teaching before this. And that is like structure. It is. It is. Every single day was is the same thing. But what I realized is that I didn't, I was like so unhappy doing that. Like yeah. I went through the motions of it. I tried to do my best. But at the end of the day, it was like, it's not, it's not worth it. Like, even with this industry, yeah. at the end of the day, I always feel like it's worth it. Or yeah. most days, I feel like yeah, it's, it's worth it. Yeah, because you love it. Because it's, it's on your heart. Because you're creative. Because mm -hmm. you need to have those outlets that even if you don't end the day in a specific success, right. it feels good because it's, it's what you love to do. Right. And you're passionate about it. And I just think that some, like, when God puts things in your heart, there's no getting around it. He made it intentionally to satisfy you. Right. Regardless of what the world sees or doesn't see or no, acknowledge about the journey. Right. I agree. Then even that with teaching, it was like a nine to five, like you said. Like I'm I'm working eight for seven. Real shit. <laughs> I was working <laughs> I was supposed to be to work at like seven thirty. Ooh. I used to get to work like eight. I used to be walking in with the kids because I just you I like care that, no more. You like that <laughs> me, the lady who's leaving at eight. Top, I mean eight fifteen. Yes. Talking about hoping to get there at eight. That's me. I just feel like I'm late again, y'all. I'm sorry, but I didn't care. Like yeah. I didn't love it, you know. And yeah. the days were shorter. I would say working in entertainment, you have days maybe eighteen hours, you know. Yep. And when you, you you're tired, but it's like a you ain't tired. You know what you're doing. Yeah. You ain't tired. Like I was tired. Like yeah. teaching. When I would go home, I would lay on the couch 
I would have to take I would have to take a nap to go to bed. And I'm like, what? I'm 25 minutes. You have to take a nap to go to bed. <laughs> like, these kids that stressed me right. out and like mentally, it was just not it wasn't worth it, you know. But like when I like if I did an award show, I would be working the whole week. From seven a.m. to yeah. twelve at night, and you didn't—I didn't feel nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because your my heart is not into it. Like That's right. it should have been. So I definitely. And you like you needed some excitement. You should be like, hold on, okay. <laughs> like so he's probably in that class writing books and stories. Okay, here. Uh, yeah. this is, Let me tell you, I just make them kids. You gonna put the motor with you? <laughs> I make them kids watch movies just so we can talk about. This is why I love this class. This is why we have to get out. I'm like, this would be a good move for us to analyze. Because I wanted to watch. You it. are so. <laughs> yes. We watched so thirteen good. documentary. I'm, I'm not like, bad at it. I'm not the ones like Ruby Bridges. That's why it was. That's it so kind of was for the culture. We were like, what's the movie with the woman who was a teacher and she was a writer? I think Amoria was in it. Oh, um. And it was, it was based in California. Um. Golly, hold I on. I know. And they like, wrote in their journal. Yeah. I made them do that. They were like, oh, let's, let's, we should get journals. I'm like, I'm going to get y'all journals. The, Just because see, I'm see, like, you I was going to twist it. You was going <laughs> to walk in that walk no matter what. You no matter what. Like, that's exactly. <laughs> so, what do you think your, your what's your sense of purpose, okay. mission that guides you like in your everyday life? Um, My sense of purpose that guides me in my everyday life. You know, it's funny because. When you hear people ask about purpose and like legacy and all these things, you really want to have like a really good answer mm -hmm. that just sounds prolific and profound because, you know, when you attach all the accomplishments that come with somebody's legacy or what their purpose is, it's a lot of things mm -hmm. that, that accompany this one thing. So, you know, um, I will just say I have a heart for young women in particular um like to nurture to give resources to to be um counsel to i just have a need to want to help want to um acknowledge and help hone in on their gifts so i think um i've acknowledged that because i i'm kind of how you are when it pertains to my personality can be very shut off, like quiet, but I'm really observing mm -hmm. and I'm just not a social light or I can be a social butterfly if I want to. So I think with that, um, I'm not naturally like the standard actress, you know, back in the day, my mom like, what you doing? Like, aren't you gonna, I'm like, I can't, I'm, I'll perform yeah. when I get in there. I'm just not on all the time yeah, like that. Yeah. So, but I realized though, using this platform, I'm able to give these resources. I'm able to um, have something to give. You know what I'm saying? So I guess my purpose um, that wakes me up every day and every morning is being able to provide opportunity um, to those people, those dreamers, those women who um, have been through so many things like we all have, but I like to see people and I like to, you know, it's kind of hard walking around in this world <clears throat> when people don't see you. God doesn't give that ability to everybody and, and that's because he's protecting you, but you know, I feel like that is one of my gifts. I, I really do see people um, for who they are and what God has attached to them. And I just want to let them know that they are seen and anything that I can give or lend to that makes me feel fulfilled yeah. um, at the end of the day. And I think for everybody, I think it's universal. The one thing we all have in common um, that will grow us, that will fulfill us, that will is when we provide for others, when we give to others, when we do for others. That's the ultimate purpose, right. and God designed it that way for a reason. So I, it's very simple. I love helping people. I wake up in the morning because when my platform gets bigger, my opportunities and what I can do for others and, and how I can be a part and, and live in their magic too, yeah. you know? It's like I'm not the only one <laughs> that has creative juices and powers. I want to, you know, I'm excited about being a part of those things, right. or I love being a facilitator, linking things up, you know, so um, really my purpose and what wakes me up in the morning is um, seeing, you know, the lights of others and being able to help assist that in yeah. any way.
Let me tell y'all, <laughs> she's not lying either. That's, that's who she is, like who I know as a person, like that's literally you as a whole. And I think on like one of my episodes, I mentioned like somebody, you need somebody to see you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, you can come here, you can have your dreams, but if you don't have faith and you don't have, all you need is one person to yeah. see you. And I said that, I was like, I think I found my person that sees me. Are you gonna make a try, girl? <laughs> and I was like, and I tell my I tell, I tell people this all the way with my family, I'm like, Lamani sees me. Like, she sees cry. me and I'm like, no, I'm about to cry too. <laughs> like, like, I'm serious. Like, I said, I know she mentions me in rooms that I'm not qualified for, you know? And I'm like, that's all I needed. My, like, I said, like, when I got here, I didn't know if it was gonna be you. Like, I didn't know who was gonna be you. I was like, I just need this one person to see me. I just need one person to know I can do this shit. I need one person to know that I'm a hard worker, I'm creative, you know, like, I just need that one person. Yeah. And I'm like, didn't think it was gonna line up like this. And I'm like, Maya is the person, like, she sees yeah. me, like, and I'm like, I think one thing, I think I said something like, I haven't even show her. <laughs> but like, I was like, I think she read like, one thing about this one, I haven't even show her that I can act. Mm-hmm. I haven't show her that I can <laughs> produce. And I'm like, and she's like, oh, she's an actress. Dejanae's an actress. Yeah. Did you know that Dejanae does this? And I'm like, damn, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, you, like, did you know that Dejanae can write? I'm like, Absolutely. that is like, I'm forever grateful. No, girl, you about to, you, you, your presence has blessed my heart. Like I said, when I get to see, um, and it's not one thing, you're not just saying this stuff. You have action, you know, faith without works is dead. We know that. Yeah. It's one thing I hear a lot of people say that they're this or they're that. I don't pick or choose mm-hmm. who I want to. It's just one of those things. If God calls me to speak or calls me to say something, and that's called favor. Right. But, you know, I, I'm not walking around like, are you qualified? I don't, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I don't qualify, disqualify you. I ain't nobody, you know. I'm me in this small, when you know, when in the small pond of the world, you know. Um, but when God calls me to open my mouth and speak, I'm gonna do that. And I didn't know. I I know that you're like you said. I said, let me see an example of your work. Mm-hmm. That's all I need to know outside of let me see it. It was good. Mm-hmm. It was really good, genuinely good, and I don't have a problem too. Because just because it's not good, don't mean that if somebody says you need to work on something, or that's also doesn't mean you don't have the gift of talent. But it literally, genuinely, I was like, oh, this is good. She's funny, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was really impressed. And then also, um, when I did speak to you in the car that one yeah, time, you yeah. kind of mentioned it. I saw um, or I understood how. You know, you have these two different things. You're Dej and then you're Dejanet, you know? And and I saw that immediately. I saw the fire in your eyes. I saw the desire um, and knowing your works, you know, you're taking class. Um, you, you are a writer. You are an actress. It wasn't for me to ask any questions because yeah. I see you doing the work. You're there, you know what I'm saying? And you have the talent. So it's just, it was like, I just, when God tells me to speak, I, I'm going to speak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're right. I'm like, oh, well, you, you mentioned the name. I'm like, oh, I know that person. Let me, let me make a yeah, Right, you right. Know? That's like, how it should be, yeah. though. That for real. And we, as a black community, especially black women, like, especially in entertainment, it's, it's, a, it's a few of us, but we got to continue to pull yeah. each other up because it's not as many of us. A thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? It's really, it's it's interesting because you have to watch your ego in this business. Mm-hmm. You know, um, there's so many things that can so quickly inflate who you think you are and you begin to have uh, this weight of these expectations of who you think you are, who everybody's telling you are. You know, and I say this because I experienced that young in my singing group. Mm-hmm. You know, you being told, you being gassed up every day, you start to believe that stuff. I was young and the Lord, you know, said, oh girl, let me snatch this away. Yeah. <laughs> you want to destroy yourself. But I get it and I understand there's a lot of people in the industry that think that being in the industry is what it's about. That's, that's not, no, you have a right. gift. Right. God has given you a gift and some of us a talent, you know, mm-hmm. something that we worked on to get there. 
No, no, it's not. It, it's for other people. Right. It's not for you. It's not for you to <laughs> hoard. It's not for you to, you know. And but everybody has to. You you have to be aware and keep yourself in check. Like I have to check myself sometimes, and you know, if I don't get recognition for something, it's not about recognition. Mm -hmm. Calm yourself. Right. Because I definitely could be like. I put your whole life on, like, you know, just something crazy, you know, just whatever. You know how people really be like, I didn't get acknowledged and, you know, and I, and I've dealt with that for a long time, but it's um, humbled me and it's made me really understand that it's not about the credit per se, right. you know what I'm saying? Because it didn't, the credit didn't make the difference of how it made me feel right. and what it did for my life in the moment of doing it. So what difference, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So I think we have to check ourselves and check our own temperature. Like, no, 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 it's okay. Because I swear, like, I'd be like, I invented that before Rihanna wore that. I <laughs> you know, I'd be like, girl, I'm doing that. <laughs> everything is redone and the But yeah, so, you know, you're right. We need to help each other. We need to, if we have resources, if we're gonna change our community, if we're right. gonna change, you know, and be the lights that we're, that God intended this talent to do, we gotta do the work of it too. We gotta share, we gotta pass right. up, right? You gotta, you know. I was, um, I, I've watched like some of the other people that are in the industry, like black women, and I realized that the ones who have reached different levels of their career that they wanted to and got to those accomplishments, you always see that they have, that everybody in the industry loves them. Yeah. Like, all the producers love them, all the directors, all the talent. It's because you have to be a good person. Like, you can't just be yeah. out here, like, you know, thinking the world revolves on you and trying to be somebody in this industry, yeah. you know? And what's crazy, remember when I told you, I texted you, I said, I think I'm about to quit my job? Yes. And you, the one thing that stood out to me that you said was um, watch him work. And he knew showing up. <laughs> like, he's been First showing thing, up. And you know what's funny? I've never had that's why I'm like, God, you called me to this particular group for a reason because I've never had more like I have a um another uh friend of mine that I'm close to as well and she was in that same kind of predicament. Like I think I'm gonna mm -hmm. quit this job, but I'm like the first thing I asked you both, um did you ask God? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ask God? That's my first thing. Did you talk to him about this? And yeah, I've been praying on it. I've been getting this feeling. You got to let it happen yeah. then. You got to do what you got to do. Like, what? Everybody's telling me not to. No, that's why I was like, I know, I know what it's like many days to just jump off that, that cliff. You know what I mean? And that's like the kind of faith walk that you have to have when you trust that God's going to yeah. continue. you. That's what I was trying to get across to you. You just have to trust and have faith with the gift that he gave you. And this yeah. is going to be the ultimate. This journey is going to be the ultimate test of your, your faith. And it never really ends. Right. It's right. just one season to the next. Yeah. And then I think after that, that's when we had the conversation about endurance. Yeah. And you said, like, people are going to eliminate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like... Everybody's gonna eliminate themselves, but it's about having that faith and yeah. having that endurance. You keep running that yeah. race. Like the difference between there's so many talented people, uh, gifted and talented, two different things. But talent can get you just as far as the gift. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and sometimes further. But the differences between the ones that make it, made it, and the ones that didn't is their endurance. If you you know, you gotta be slow and steady, baby. You know, <laughs> she's a runner in the track star. <laughs> Slow and steady, and that is important, you know, understanding that I think you have, too, a realistic idea of, you know, it's not going to be overnight, right? you know what I mean? Um, and you don't want to look for that kind of success anyway, because I think a lot of people get that in their mind. No. I'm coming to Hollywood, I'm going to be, it's going to be hot, I'm going to be eating dinner, no. see Spielberg from the walk up, is he going to see this? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> let me tell you, I mean, living here, I'm definitely in those moments like, I just got to pee myself, I'm going to walk down the street. Right. You know, <laughs> Somebody's gonna see me. Uh, no. Yeah, they might see you, but I'm feeling a bubble to people out here. Like that doesn't happen. Let you know? me tell you. So just yeah, just in case you don't move out and you so fine and you got so much style, 
Yeah, everybody. It's a like thousand of them. It's a <laughs> thousand of them in Hollywood. Not even everywhere around everybody. You're right. Everybody got so, style. baby, you got to have a gift and favor. And faith. <laughs> yes, you got to, let me say, gift and favor. <laughs> and I've been having so many moments where I'm like, whew, one of God's favorite. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, okay, favor. Yeah. Like, it's not fair. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Favor's not fair. I'm like, whoo, baby. Look, I'm sorry. It's like, true. It's like, I can't even take the credit. You just are like, Lord, <laughs> yes. I'm y'all take it up with God. Take it's it up with me, God. Not me, not me. So do you think, as far as being an actress, like we said, you've been doing this your whole life. Did you start, were you doing it before Megan? Only technically because of age. Okay. But we started at the same time. <laughs> technically, I had two years, but I was two years older than her. Yeah, so. okay. No. <laughs> so y'all started, started at the same, at the same time. time. And y'all, you started in commercials. Yeah, we started in commercials. Okay, do you think her career being what it's been and yours being what it's been as far as just acting, do you think people in the industry or even just people around you have tried to like pin y'all kind of against each other because like you're the oldest sister right. and they feel, you know how people may think. You oh, know, in the, we haven't really experienced that or not outwardly mm -hmm. that we would acknowledge, I think because people acknowledge our relationship is just like you would be crazy to yeah. try to you know and I think it, that comes with the genuineness of our relationship mm -hmm. there's no really cracks to come into right. the door because you know what I'm saying um, so we haven't had any any issues like within the industry I mean I had a casting director say something stupid one time <laughs> she gonna know who she is too when she hear it cause you know you wasn't right I'm gonna do it like your sister. How? <laughs> I don't so know what? That. That's what I said. So, uh, you mean like use her inflection of her voice? Because we pretty sound pretty much alike. So, what yeah. do you want from me? Like, what are yeah, you talking about? Pretty much alike, too. <laughs> and it was crazy. I was like, I said, you know what's funny, though? Because that's why it can be a dangerous thing when you want it so bad. You know, I had a time in this industry where I just really didn't give a damn. I was booking everything. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then it became a time where I felt like I had to prove myself. I had to keep up in the race, you know, because I did look at my sister's career and success, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe am I snacking? Yeah. Well, you know, let me get more serious. Let me listen to go, you know. And I felt like I was putting pressure on myself um, that made me, and like I would have myself now, I would have walked out that interview. You do it like me. I was just having a nice say. Day. I was yeah, like, like somebody just said that to me. I was like, I think if, you, if she would say that to you now, you you probably would say like. Okay, we'll get Megan. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, we'll go get Megan. Right. <laughs> like, if, if you can. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I think you got to have it in perspective because that's that could be a dangerous thing. But I, I, I realize I'm not what I do. Right. You know, I have found out so much about myself over these years, you know, um, that I'm just an overall entertainer. I'm not even just an actor. Megan's an actress, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> She's a thespian. And if she was, you know, that's her career path. That is, and and she was so made for that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she she gonna get her, you know, Oscar and the, I might get one by default. Cause I'm like, I'm an entertainer. Right, You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and I had to realize, you know, her, platform calling although we're in the same arena it is it, it look it's very different mm -hmm. yeah and it and, but it works together mm -hmm. you know um it definitely works together but it's it's so funny yeah i, I don't think we've had too much craziness people know like yeah they like, know they do yeah being around y'all you know, like yeah <laughs> you, <laughs> i wish you would right, right. right that's like like my sister my sister keisha i tell you about how I'm yes like, she's the like you said the biggest big sister like yeah, you don't don't, <laughs> like, don't even think you we can argue. Yeah, exactly. Nobody, yeah, and that's that's the, that's exactly how you are. Like you being know. a big sister, I do. I, I, and I'm gonna protect her at all lengths. And there's no amount. There's no jealousy. There's no, and right. there never has been. Right, you can tell. You know, I think. Um, even though we didn't get along when we were younger and stuff like that, <laughs> there's always been an admiration though for who she is. Even mm -hmm. though there was a time where we didn't understand each other because we're a lot alike and very, very different at the same time. So when you're younger, you don't have respect for differences. Mm -hmm. When you get older, you yeah. learn to have respect and, and 
love the differences about people, right? When we were younger. But I've always had an admiration though for who she is. I've always seen her, like I said, very clearly. And um, I never wanted what she had or what she has. I, I've always been so present in the moment of enjoying because she deserves every right. accomplishment. She deserves everything that she's ever gotten. I've never, ever had a moment I can honestly say where I'm like, like, dang, you know, I want that or that should be me or never. Right. It was more like, I, it's I not like, even correlated yeah, with yeah. me at all. It, right. it, the fact that we're even in the same industry when she has her wins and her successes, as my sister, as my um, right. purpose partner, as all, like, I just want to see her win. <laughs> so yeah. like, I'm like, like, I'm easy. so excited yeah. every single yeah. time. Every single right. time. I'm so excited. It has nothing to do with me. Right. What the hell we got to do with like, me? <laughs> it goes back to favor. Like, and, and when you when you work in this industry, you realize every, if it's for you, it's for you. Absolutely. Like, it is nothing, like, nothing else. It cannot be for me. If it was for me, it, I would have it. it absolutely. <laughs> like, Oh, I wanted that role. It wasn't for you. Like no, it's just that simple. It's like, just it's that just simple. simple. And it's... I think you learn that getting older. But the mm -hmm. love, yeah, between us, like I, I, I never right. looked at it like that. But it's for sure. I've gotten into my seat. If it's for me, mm -hmm. it's gonna find its way too. Right. Right. Even with Kingdom business, that's how yeah. my mama was just trying to like. <laughs> Call them, put uh, send them an email. And I said, They know where I'm at, right? <laughs> they know where I'm at. <laughs> Your mom told me she was like, Lamaya just told me, like, it's all in God's hands, so I'm not gonna even talk to her about it. I was like, I, I believe, I said, I believe so, I believe so too. So, you know, like, but I get it, like, as a mom, you like, yeah, she's she still you know she be behind her, like, she goes, she she's still going to feel and try to, yeah, well, she's going to go hard for us, period. Yeah. I don't care how I see 65, right. she's like, she's gonna send another right. resume. I'm like, oh, right. girl, she, <laughs> like, my mom told me, like. It's in God's hand. Um, it's for her. It's for her. It is. I was like, like I said, and I think I asked her. I was like, it's for her though. So, you know, know so just already know it's hers. Hard. You know, and then I think the next day you you, you got it, which was crazy. <laughs> and she was like, well, why you told me yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, she goes, yeah. you told me. You told yeah, I don't want the stress. I I've learned like trying to to have something that you want more than that God wants for you is like it's that stressful, right? Okay. Right. Like and, I don't want it. And being in this industry, it's you. You don't really get to pick and choose on that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> like these people already have in their mind. Absolutely. When they wrote it, when the producers read it, it has nothing to do with you personally. And, and but for you to know that at this part in your I, career, yeah. that's very important. Because if I if I didn't realize that, I probably went home. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know I'd be like, this is not for me. Yeah. You know, but. I had to realize it has nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the role was for me, I would have gotten it. A, a thousand percent. You know, and the, the, and the sooner you learn that. Yeah, the better. The better, the better and the less stress <laughs> that I am. Like, you know? It's such a task to be <laughs> yeah. going after something that don't, the shoe don't really fit. Mm -hmm. I don't agree. worry, just wait. God is going to, He not even going to, he has the perfect thing for you. Right. Right now, you may not even be faithful enough to have it. You know what I'm saying? You're like, no, we need to work right. out a little bit more. Add some weight like to that. Right, being the singing group, like, you and the yeah. group, all that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I believed all, all the smoke, all the gas, all the, I was like, it was getting crazy though. I even had, I had questions then. Like, mm -hmm. before I knew how to do my baby hair, so the forehead was out, like, just in a different way. I knew it looked crazy, but I would so purposely like do crazy stuff to mm -hmm. see because the whole team's like, oh my God, that's amazing. That's so good. Like you are, and I'm looking to myself. Now I know I just set y'all up and y'all went for it. So <laughs> I didn't start learning that young, but no, I was not ready at all, at all. Because the things that people would say is what I based, you know, my endurance or my mm -hmm. pressure that I was going to put on what I'm trying to do or my fight. It's like, no, no. Is there anyone's like career you've is followed or been inspired by? Um, <laughs> I laugh because I always struggle with that one because 
for a long time, I thought I was just, I thought I was an actress. Mm -hmm. um, when I discovered that I am an entertainer, I am a lifestyle person, you know, all this stuff, like I was way ahead of my time for the social media and yeah, stuff. Yeah. I just didn't know what the hell to do with it. And to me, everybody's like, what is that, you know? But that's really, you know, I can't say, I like people who can do it all. I'll yeah. say that. So like, for instance, um, who has a career? Because I haven't really seen it yet. What I want to do, mm -hmm. I haven't really seen it in, in its fullness. But for instance, and people are going to hate me for saying this because they're like, that is not, you know, she's not just an ex. J-Lo, I like how she can go on concert, mm -hmm. go on tour, how she can do a movie, how she can have, um, you know, businesses and, you know, I like the multifacetedness of her career, for sure, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I can go, I don't know if I can do Super Bowl now <laughs> anymore. Maybe, maybe that. I mean, I could if I wanted to. I think the reality yeah. is just, you know, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe a couple years ago I might have wanted to do it, but I'm good. But I, I get what you're saying, because we don't really, like when we talk about JLo, we talk about either what what we're seeing. Yeah. You know, we only we're talking about performing, <laughs> singing, we're only talking about that. Yeah. We're not bringing in that she just did a movie last year or she just did this. Just right. Did, no. You know, it's so. like her at overall. Yeah. Like you said. Yeah. I agree. I mean I think that's a, I think Fair enough, right? Yeah. Um Yeah, I think I'm more interested and I like a lot of activists, um, so like um Doc Melly, um, Melly Mel, Black Lives Matter. I like her activism. I like her community enthusiasm and not just enthusiasm, but her works. Um, so I'm finding myself more and more inspired by women and people who are taking active parts in the change of and in the betterment of the black community. Um, so I have, you know, just like, I wanted to work on a project for my boys so that they can have more images, um, positive images of black men um, and be kind of part of the village through our creative outlet um, by like imparting these uh, images and stories of people with character, people with talent, people, you know, black people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen a model. Um, but actresses that I love, if we're talking about actresses, um, obviously I love my sister. <laughs> she can transform you. Um, but I love, like, uh, I always tend to love, like, Angela Bassett. Um, like she has a really magical way of being masculine and feminine and um, vulnerable and strong you know um, and I so I really love her versatility in that way because we've seen her in all those yeah, you know she embodies the character she like, does big person do you know my whole life not my whole life <laughs> I did not say my whole life most of my life I thought her name was Tina Turner <laughs> you know what <laughs> Good night, y'all. Go take a nap. That's how good she did that movie. And I was, I saw the movie. I was like, I was, I was younger. <laughs> I saw the movie. I didn't know it was a Tina Turner singer. Oh, that's crazy. Like, like, yeah, like, I love Tina Turner. And Tina Turner was in another movie. I'm like, so like, her name's not Tina Turner. <laughs> Tina Turner was in another movie. Oh, dang. Okay, that's a good. She, she was acting. She, yeah, she was acting. She did her thing. <laughs> but like, I definitely. She does embody the character. And you said like activists and stuff. If I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but like you were in the trenches when they were protesting, like For sure. Yeah. Like on the ground. Right. And I know people are like, what are protests? Nigga, it's showing up for what we believe in. It's literally being physical physically present and saying, I'm willing to stand up and and, and show that there is a demand for right. what we're asking for and that I'm here to support that. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sh I was showing up, I think it was, uh, and, and don't get me wrong, because it wasn't every Wednesday, but I think it was the Wednesdays at the courthouse, um, um, trying to get, I can't 
can't even think of her name. They'd be like, you ain't no activist girl. I was there, shut up. No. <laughs> No, I definitely, definitely, um, Eric be like, you about to go down there with all, I'm like, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Um, no, I am de deeply inspired by um, activism and people who use their voice in a way um, to really put me on a cause. And, and so that definitely inspires me as a whole. Um, and I want to do, I am doing more of that. Yeah, that's that's what it, that's like what, what I'm trying to say. That's that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta help our people. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you have even if you don't have the platform, you still gotta show up. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And if you do, you definitely gotta show up. You know, and and show people that no matter who I am, that's right. what I look like, what I dress like, what I got. I'm still out here on the front line. That's like, right. I remember like y'all literally being on the front line of some stuff. I'm like, yeah, like this is what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like, this, like what is the platform? What's the purpose? For? What are we doing <laughs> if we're not trying to make a better way for our black children? Um, it's like, what are we doing? Right. I want to our community to progress. I'm really interested in things that will impact the community in a positive way um, from several different angles, from mental health to just um, black men having other black men to really have a positive imagery of what a man is. And, you know, um, just in so many different ways, I see there's so many different avenues that we need help and we yeah. need to build <laughs> our community. And I think if everybody participates in the place that their heart is drawn, and not worry about because I can't do all 50 right. <laughs> things that needed to be done, but I can't be a part of to put a piece to push that one initiative forward. And if everybody listens to that place in our heart, if something like really pulls at your heartstrings, at your spirit, you can't stop thinking about it, that's probably something you need to be a part of. And if more people took action on that voice instead of worrying about, well, I can't do this, and how can one person? It's like, yeah, you take your ass down there. It's like it was a block of 50, now it's a block of 51, and then 52, and you know? Yep. So it's like you can't be so small minded. Every person, whatever, however large or small your platform is, it, it matters. It Your showing up matters. I agree. I definitely agree. And do you think? tackling your career because I always say uh, I moved to Atlanta once I'm like oh my god like I'm glad I moved to LA when I did because I could not have tackled life career how I am now then do you think it's easier now or like to to tackle your career or like certain things you want to do and you're trying to do or you're doing do you think it's easier now I think or it's like it's the time now some things, I think, I think some things that I want to do, the amount of time that I put into the industry definitely created this space for right now for me to do those things. Yeah. Um, some things are easier, some things are harder, you know? <laughs> it's like, physicality is fading every day. Yeah. So all those things that, you know, all those little photo shoots and things that, you know, are certain projects, it's like the time is ticking on that. Yeah. But, you know, other things, the amount of time and experience that I put in that has a lot of, for this time right now, for me to be able to step into those spaces like producing, um, like developing projects, um, like writing, um, so it's been in my benefit yeah, to, yeah. to have waited <laughs> right but you said physicality and mm -hmm. all of that let me tell you <laughs> Lamari's birthday was this week I'm, you can say your age I'm not going to yeah, say yeah, 43, 43. <laughs> where look where 43 where and your last world kingdom business was last year and your character you played she wasn't 40 she had to no. be like late twenties, mid twenties. <laughs> Let me tell you, black women. <laughs> so, black don't crack, baby. Black don't crack, crack. But like, That's so I mean, I get what you're saying. Like, some things are like, 
But physically, like physically, but it's like it takes you work. Keep to it up. Keep, yeah, <laughs> baby, I'm trying to keep up. Like I'm like, ooh, that's what I just said. I'm talking to my cousins on the phone. I'm like, ooh, y'all neck's so tight. It's just like different things that show your age, and you know, that's another thing. Growing up in this business, sometimes you have a hard time with reality, with where you really you, you don't see yourself as your age because a lot of times they want you older to play younger. You know, so you just have to get perspective yeah. on things. You know, mm -hmm. certain stuff. I'm going for like, baby, you can't. You young. You look young, but you're not gonna play college student. Like, stop, stop <laughs> it. You know, yeah, like, like, are things. you young? But when you talk, you didn't been through some stuff. The you're very mature. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay. you can, like, baby. So you know, it's interesting. Yeah, how you have to just really get perspective on yourself. And that's why I say you got to do them check-ins all the time. Make sure your feet are still on the ground. It's okay to fly. Mm -hmm. But just make sure you got some roots and you got a nest, something. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I would say, for me, um, one thing I do admire about you is the husband, kids, career, like, because they try to tell us now that yeah you can't have it all and I, i'm like why you know what Who's that? like what they must have been back in the like the 20s and 30s yeah, I'm like, why are we like, like, like people are like oh it's just the time and no i you know one thing i don't think children hinder your career i think your mindset hinders your career mm -hmm. you know you put limitations on yourself I feel like honestly my career has flourished even more after I've had my children um, probably because my widened perspective and experience of life uh, allows me to tap into other things but um, no I didn't want to wait to create the life that I want forever right. because of right. my right. what I do or what I enjoy doing for myself or me um, no, I, I know, I was like, no, I'm not gonna wait till I'm this age and I'm at this point in my career, now I can have kids. That just, that mindset just was never for me because I wanna live in my happiness and like what I want out of life now, right. you know? And so it was never a concern to me in that way where I felt like I'm gonna seriously be hindered. I did have times when I was pregnant like, oh, I'm not really working like that. I'm trying to like get pregnant roles and you know, so um yeah, I don't think I think you shouldn't wait in your life to do the things that you want because of this industry. So you had a series, like we said last year, um, it's on BT Plus. Mm -hmm. You guys haven't watched it. Um, how did you juggle the family and the career, like filming? Especially when it wasn't here. Yes, that was, you know, so interesting because I remember when I first got it and, um, you know, I was telling Eric the details like of it not shooting here and he could sense the apprehension <laughs> in my voice and he said to me before I could even finish everything, don't you dare not go because, you know, you're worried about here. Right. So I think part of that is not everybody has a partner, a teammate, a husband, you know, but somebody... I, it, it's important to have a support system for sure because there's no way I could have done it without him um, shifting what he's doing and making room to support my dream mm -hmm. and you know my finances don't support the household in that way you know what I'm right, saying right. Um, but he knew how important it was to me and to what he believes my calling my purpose right. is and the things that God has in store for me so one support was super important to make that happen and two you know as a mother my brain went in five thousand different ways because at the end of the day it's still like i got to make plans though to make the plan work right, right okay right. <laughs> so um in the beginning i was like a little mm -hmm. all over the place stressed out you know just trying to figure out how's it all going to get done but one thing i've learned Number one, you can't do it all in your own strength. That's been a big thing God has been saying to me in this season. Number two, it's okay to ask for help and let people help you. Yeah, I'm um, still struggling. Uh -huh, girl. <laughs> and, you know, it's a hard thing. It is, but it's so necessary to live a healthy and full life 
and and it's also a sign of faith and trust in God, you know, and and acknowledging that He is in control ultimately. Right. So that was a very hard thing for me to do. It was a big step because I was like, oh, I'm a serious regular at 41, whatever it was, you know, 42. And so it was interesting and it took a lot to make happen. But once we got our little flow and right. everything, and I was able to come home yeah. like during um, certain hiatus and stuff like that. So everything worked out, but it was definitely right. a, another call of faith. So faith that just walk. shows you can, you can have it all. You can, you know, absolutely. You can but I'm not going to say that it's just easy out here. No, because you know it. <laughs> it ain't going to be easy. Look, they do me. Oh, out here in these streets, you know, so it's like once you do find that person, yeah, you know, like, but in the interim, you know, if you do have kids, you, you know, you have family, or you know, it's important to establish some kind of village, right. um, that's going to be instrumental. The village is, is always how I work, that's, that's how I that's how I'm here, yeah, you know exactly. what I'm yeah. Like, the village, you know, like, it's very, very, very important, and. Do you think, even though you did, like, you're still doing everything, like, the mom, the career, and, you know, the wife, do you think starting later is something of entertainment with women? Like, cause Absolutely. There's a stigma on <laughs> entertainment, like, to wait till you get older <laughs> to do it. Absolutely. I don't think anybody's encouraging yeah. you to be a young Baywatch you know, yeah, like out I here having yeah. kids. <laughs> like, I see, like, I see people, two people who are doing it, and... They, they have kids, and I'm like, how? It's like, you know, they, they live in the life that they want. <laughs> like, you know? Oh, my God, I couldn't imagine. It, I think it's one of those old casting things that yeah. you have to change, and it is changing. And I, I like that because I was talking to someone, and they were like, there's no, um, there's no it girl anymore for actors, actors yeah. especially black women. Like, you can look, <laughs> be... Anybody at this point, like it does not matter, which I think is amazing. Amazing, because that's know? real life. Yeah. I like where, yeah, it's so it's so much more variety and real, right? Instead of this one picture image of what <laughs> a black superstar actress right. is supposed to look like, right? Yeah. So let's talk about Kingdom Business for a minute. <laughs> I love Kingdom Business. Thank I hope you. y'all get season two. Yeah, <laughs> but um. I wasn't expecting Kingdom Business to be that. I think my idea was just strictly music, <laughs> like gospel music. What you mean? You know that scandal you did? I didn't think it was going to be like, I'm like, wait a minute, what am I watching? Like, yes. like, now this is something, you know, it is BT, you know, BT Plus, so we get it, you know? Yes. But it was, it's very like, I like the different angle, you know, because yeah. you always get just, you don't get the gospel in that way. You know, mm -hmm. we hear about it, but we don't see it. That's right. You know, like we hear about all oh, this in the church, but we never see it. So it's a curtain back. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, this is me being home. Like, I'm like, oh. yeah, like that ain't this be happening in right. the church? Yeah. yeah. And that's what I loved about the project, you know. Um, and I think a lot of people didn't expect, especially with um, Dr. Harley Carter mm -hmm. and Eric. Uh, and <laughs> Devon, um, producing it, they expected it to just be like super straight edge yeah. and not press those boundaries. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, how do you show redemption without sharing the story? Exactly. How do you be transparent about a story or, or how do you share a testimony without transparency? Right. You know, um, so that's what I really liked about this project. Um, when I looked at it, I said, wow everybody goes through something you have to wonder how people get to where they're at yeah. you know and not only that you have to know that there's struggles behind these closed doors and i don't care who you are god did not put one person above the other not a one of and us and that's literally what it shows and that's what it shows and that's because what I about it. even the person who was at the top she just gradually yeah <laughs> like right. you thought <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Don't you was got some demons in, the, in that closet too. You, you forgot. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. This is supposed to be God's work, not right. your work and what right. you want it to look like. Right. Exactly. So, so being a business, it's the business. business. <laughs> it definitely is the business. So, like we said, you have an R&B background. Okay. You don't like to talk, <laughs> you don't like talk about that. No, I do. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I I get shy about it because that's still something that I'm insecure about. 
um, in a way, you know, because back when, and I sound so old, I'm talking about back, <laughs> back when I was then, back in the day. But you know, back when, when I was in music, you know, getting a deal was like, you had to sing, sing, like mm -hmm. sing. You had to sing, you had to dance, you had to do like the whole thing. You had to be a performer, all of that. So the expectation, the, it was a much higher expectation. Now, if I would have known the world was just going to be singing however you want to sing and sound however, I would have started singing a long time ago, before then. <laughs> no, but, you know, I'm, and I'm not, not, not to take anything away from now because, you know, there is different sounds that are made with a more simplistic mm -hmm. voice. I have a simple voice. And back then, it was like no room for no simple right. voice. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. it's still something the that... The girls were singing. <laughs> yeah. Were singing. So I'm like, that's still something I struggle with. That's why I don't bring it up as much because I don't think... I, even though it was one of the best times in my life because it was a sisterhood mm -hmm. that you could never replace. Um, and I learned so much. I didn't live in my fullness. I li lived in a lot of fear there. Um, and so I think I'm still coming to terms with that I am a singer mm -hmm. and that I can sing. And... So I think that's why I shy away from it so much because there is some insecurity in that from a lot of stuff that I dealt with, a lot of trauma that I had during that time. Being in a singing group, signed to Arista Records, signed to L.A. Reid with some with a singer in the group, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's like not at the time it was like you need the lead singer and everybody else to do what you want to do, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so it was just so many things that didn't support um, you know who I was as a singer yeah and so that's why I think I get it is like full circle because your character I said oh, Lord, you funny you funny Lord so you gonna make me a singer yeah. on the like show. It or not. where you gonna face it and I and I definitely I was freaking out I'm like I'm going to the studio with Warren Campbell and Kirk Franklin and I'm and y'all had the nerve well it's most of the singing this week you know we might have to cut that out until they let Okay. But yes, most of the singing is me. A couple of things. Yeah. I was like, baby, I don't hit that note. Yeah. She's going to bring somebody in for that. But the fact that I am on a track with the Alonda yeah. Adam, trust me, I said, now y'all must be, this is a cruel joke. Mm -hmm. Y'all want me to get on the song with Yolanda Adam? But you know what? It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. And they are so good with what they do. And it was like one of the best experiences in the studio yeah. that I've had. Um, yeah, and then obviously I love you, Oh my God, me and her. She know you ask her about me, she'd be like, "That's a clown right there." That's a whole. <laughs> um, you know, I had her laughing all the time, but um, I think she's also an awesome actress. Um, I don't think people expected what they got from her, I, and I, I was not. rooting from her I did not. from day one <laughs> when I saw it on the table read. I'm like, you know, people. Um, always have their concerns with people who are just really really but i'm like no yeah. she's funny yeah. yeah you can tell she's like put in work she did yeah. she did yeah. and so she um i love her and being on a track with her and that's one of my favorite scenes from kingdom business that is me and her my dad favorite scene from <laughs> that's my, my favorite her. scene oh. and she was like yes. <laughs> yes. little girl little girl did you hear that yeah, yeah, so I, I, I definitely, that's my favorite thing. So do you think, um, I mean, what do you do for your self-care? Because like we said, yes. you're 43, but you're playing the role of a 20-year-old. <laughs> yes. Um, so self-care, I do take like a lot of herbs. You know, I'm like an herbalist. You know, I believe in that. She's like, oh, girl, put your black seed oil and your ashwagandha and your echinacea drops and your... Uh, <laughs> Uh, or oil of oregano and yeah I'm a herbalist um, I do take herbs daily um, I have my seasons of fit okay <laughs> I, I say seasons honey because <laughs> I mean, be like sometimes I just don't have it in me and I understand that this is just an R and R season I just need to sleep when the hell I yeah. think I need to sleep and you know I'm, I just don't have it you know and I and I have to learn to be okay with that but I definitely am in a flow of I know how to kick it in gear I do yeah. acknowledge that it has to be a part of my life somewhere so I do go um, on these like fitness kicks where I'm making sure that I'm working out um, I, I, I try to eat well 
most of the time. I mean, I'm not really an ear like that, except for when I'm with Eric. I got the baby every damn time. We spend like an extended, and I don't want to say extended because in our daily life, it's hard to spend mm -hmm. three, four days together all day. You know what I'm saying? But when I do, Jesus, I'm like, baby, I'd be just putting on pounds. Look, you know they say that's how you know you're in love. <laughs> when you, when every you time. Put it but I'm like, hey, hey mom. mom. That's what they say, mm -hmm. and I didn't even think about that either. So it's yeah, true. Cause I'm say. like, I just be getting fat. I'm like, but look, just that. Look how how great that is. They usually say it's the first year. Yeah. You <laughs> still have your moments when you like eight look. years later, <laughs> eight years strong. I'm still gaining weight when I hang with my boo. Period. <laughs> Um, so I try though, I do believe in, in healthy eating. Like I try to get the boys to eat vegetables and try to keep them acquainted with home cooked meals and um, throwing vegetables and things yeah. up in there. All that stuff is important. I think ultimately if all of us invested in a healthier lifestyle, what we eat, um, I try not to do dairy mm -hmm. uh, and took that part a lot more serious i think there'd be a lot less illness there would be a lot less you know it's simple but a not simple thing to do it's so interesting right. but especially in like the overall black community yes you yeah. know boy we gonna fry it dye it <laughs> smother it, <laughs> smother it <laughs> smack it uh, <laughs> so you know i try to balance everything in life though you know i'm a libra so yeah. everything is like about balance i'm like i'm going to have some meals like, <laughs> don't play with me but i also acknowledge that i do have to have an overall healthy lifestyle yeah. if i yeah. want to keep this intact especially with what we're doing you know right right but i love that for black women because i like like me i'm on my health journey and I'm, yeah i'm like Negative sixty pounds uh -huh. right now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, <laughs> I'm so yes. like, I'm, I'm, I love that for black women. Yes. Cause you know they said they have this thing like black women don't work out. Yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we, we do. do. And we was just telling like, we just somebody the other day, like, oh, no, 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 hold on. I'll tell you. Oh, you don't know about the new, the new black women. We do all the self care. Yeah, we work out. We work out. We eat we healthy. healthy. We, we meditate. We, we pray. Meditate. And see, that's what I love. We try black all. women. Let me tell you something, because we're going to pray and meditate. <laughs> don't tell them a long trip. Okay, y'all over here, like, go on with meditate. You're taking it too far. Right. Did you pray before you meditated? Okay, because we're going to pray yeah. and meditate. And I do it, do it all. I consult yeah. with the Lord, and then I meditate on what the hell. And they're gonna be like, "How you say Lord in hell?" But you give my he know my heart. He know my heart. <laughs> Look, journal. We journal now. Like, yeah. Like that. And okay. that's all part of mental health, and that's all part of like things that we need to address yeah. to make the black community better. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, aside from all of that, you. We talk about we talk about film and stuff. Yes. We talked about actresses. So let's talk. I love music. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but like, I love music. Like R and B is. Mm -hmm. I, I know you 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 married to R and B, so I know <laughs> you know. <laughs> I know you love R and B, so I'm gonna just ask you a few questions. Yes, know? shoot them off. Okay, so can we talk? By Four minutes. To the camera Girl, versus. I want to know your name. Yes. <laughs> versus. You by Jesse Powell. Oh, can we talk? Do you know what that does to the black community? It does. Hey, girl! <laughs> it on, Because we know, like, that's how he gonna approach it. Look, hey, can we talk for a minute? You know what I'm saying? He'll be like, you. Yeah. No, I, that is a, but that is a class. Oh, that you, that you too. Okay. But can we I talk? I wish I was. Like, I mean, I wish I was there. I know. <laughs> I, like, I feel bad. Like, so y'all generation is getting it hard. Like niggas think they the prize. Oh, now. it's like what's somebody that? told me the other day. Um, Baby, I realized I'm the catch. <laughs> no, you know what? <laughs> then I need to not talk to you. So, no, uh, but if you're the catch, so what am I? <laughs> right, because I'm not a fisherman. Exactly. So, <laughs> who's hoping to catch your ass? It's so <laughs> crazy though. It was starting to get a little. Look, you right there though. Like, oh, for sure. I mean, I literally closed my life off for like four years. Like, I was like, oh no. But you know, I have to just say this, because it was, I mean, I had um, boyfriends that were telling me, you'll never go find, you want somebody to hold your door open? Like, you think that's when I, mm -hmm. but in my heart, I just felt like I am. I, somebody is gonna be a man to me. 
Yeah. Even though I was, they tried to break me down, break me down, break me down. In my heart, I would not let go of that. And I think, you know, not just being, not just wanting to rush into a relationship, and that's the problem we make as women. A lot of the times, it's like somehow a relationship validates where we're going in life and right. what we're doing. And, right. you know, we have to stop rushing into these relationships. You know, um, the red flags be all over the place. And I think, um, black families, like the older generations, they do kind of put that kind of pressure on us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, in America, and <laughs> we think not, and I'm like, damn, like and it's like that's unhealthy. We have kids, like it's like, like do you have you seen my options? Right? No, no. <laughs> do you want some wildebeest, no. or do you want some grandbabies? Let me just let me know. What are you talking no, about? Have you, have, have you seen them? Have okay. you seen these? No. It's a different, and I keep hearing this, and I'm just like, it's not a lie. It's, it's the truth. <laughs> but there's good men out there. That's it, it, a is, it is, but it's like a needle in a haystack. Like it's, it's like a needle in a haystack in the born in Wisconsin. Like it's, Damn, like, it's, it's a lot of specifications. It's, 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 it's very hard. Like you know, I, I'm. I think me and Eric need to take on the task of finding those people. Maybe we need to start doing like do a, a couple show. of shows. Oh, yeah, we were talking about doing a show. Because I'm like, you have to have faith that they're out there. Mm -hmm. I know it's it's looking real skimp. I know, I know it is. At the same time, use this time to get yourself right. Right. And, mm -hmm. you know, so that you're not in a position where somebody can give you less than what you where you're accepting less than what you deserve right, right. you know so um a good time because the time is gonna pass anyways mm -hmm. the good way to spend it is making sure that you're 100 percent because it's not two people you know um make 100 percent. it's it's two whole people right and that's something that's why i said during those four years i kind of took the time to excuse me focus on where I was going, my relationship with God, um, understanding some of my trauma, doing some work, like what, why am I like this? Why am I dependent? Or why am I finding these types of guys? Um, like what's making me? Yeah. Upset? Like I said that to myself all the time, what made this person think? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I'm better than them, but what made this person right. who doesn't have their stuff together feel like they can approach me. If, right. Do I not have my shit together? No, you know? and you know, I think sometimes it's just unhealed trauma, things that we're traumatized about. Sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> things that we're traumatized about, you know, I think um, we don't necessarily attract, because I don't want to put that on us either. Mm -hmm. Like, girl, you attracted that dirty yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> but I think for us to even look that way, that got to be something right, out, you no, know, right, right. got to be something our DNA. Right. You're like, girl, wait, hold on, let me take it back. This right. might be a little trauma looking that way. It ain't me, right? You know. Right. Uh, but I think you know the healthiest way to spend that time before God reveals to you, you know, who's gonna see you and all that good stuff. Right. It's just to spend time focusing on him. I know it sounds so cliche because it's like, damn, I'm bored out in these streets. Like, <laughs> I go to work, I, I self care. Right. And the last thing is like, yeah, where am I at? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so another one, another verse. Okay. Yes, come on, another verse. Okay. Usher Confessions versus Superstar. Oh, that's hard. I'm gonna have to go with superstar. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with superstar because it's just it's loving. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like I, I choose you can love. relate to that. I don't choose no violence. <laughs> yeah. I don't want none of that. <laughs> but that's a great, just great like, yeah, just Lord, like, both of them like no, Oh no. my gosh. And you know, we just went to his right. concert, so that was a whole he is amazing. The music that he's put, the R&B that yeah. he has put out is like amazing. Right. Me and Eric both in there like, <laughs> well, I think I got a video of a singer superstar. But I had to go superstar. I, I agree. I, I would say superstar. I don't know. Confessions go on one end part. Those both go hard. You they know? Do. That whole album 
was a good album. I Usher, know. Usher again, you know. Yeah, he can go. So, weak SWV or don't let go in Vogue. Oh, that's so hard because there's two generations apart. Who? I was hollering both them songs, screaming to the top of my lungs, singing both them songs. I don't know about that. I, I can't say. I can't it's weak for me. That's why you say weak. It's your generation, girl. You ain't even. What you know about your vote? Well, I know that. Really, none of us is my generation. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. You're closer to. I think right. I was closer to the vote. Yeah. That's why I was like, well, they're still in there. Yeah. We're definitely, definitely weak. Just, ooh, I can just, yeah. No, I'm but don't let go. Oh, no, no, no. Look, you know, even I asked him, can you see? No. <laughs> no, he did not. Yes, I'm like, no. And he was like, just do this one note. So I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> and he was like, please. And he was like, begging me. I was like, I'm going to do it. He made you <laughs> say it. Yes, I, I said, just for you. He so I did it. He was like, that's not that bad. I said, Eli, I don't do it. Don't start guessing me. Eli, oh, yeah, here. Hold right. on. Right. Embarrassing yourself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was embarrassing myself. Like, don't. No, I Jesus, I mean Jesus. <laughs> Eli is good for that. He go boy. Let me tell you something. That man. Like, no, no, that was really good. That's so right. I love bless his heart. I was like Eli, listen, let's be serious. I know, cause sometimes, <laughs> boy, my kids be saying the darndest right. stuff. But sometimes he be like, I know he just being nice. Like, mm -hmm. mommy, that's what I thought. Like, he was just being nice to me. You know, you being nice. And then other times he be like, what is that on your back of your head? <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, so here's the last one. Just kicking it or creep. No, ma'am. I can't choose between these things. I think you can. Absolutely <laughs> not. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I will go out in a blaze of fury fighting. <laughs> no, you can absolutely not. No. Just kicking it or creep. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> no, I can't do it. That, that, I don't know. That's hard for me too. I'm not gonna lie. Well, now I'm put you on the spot. I can't. Because I'm like creep. It, it, oh, <laughs> oh. It See, I told it. you it's the quiet ones. Them be the ones like, yeah, it's just creep for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Duh, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm, I just want to end this. Dave's like. <laughs> Deja Creep, call me Deja Creep. Look, get T O C D. So, we're going to end it with just some advice that you want to give. Period. Doesn't even have to be. Okay. Yeah, because I always be trying to make it prolific and just be long winded. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, my advice in general is. Don't quit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know it's easier said than done. I know there's going to be really hard times, um, but it's the difference. You're the difference between whether you make it or not. So don't quit. So, um, yeah. And then the other thing that has helped me very much is don't try to do it all in your own strength. Rely on God. Um, and yeah, don't try to do it all in your own strength. That's very, been very, very extremely important to me. You gotta just let God. Right. You gotta walk in faith. So I don't quit. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't don't endure it. You gotta keep on like fighting a good fight. You do, you know. Run that race with no finish line. Right. But you're gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm going to end it by saying, I know your family adores you. I know your husband adores you. I know your everyone adores you. Anyone who's ever been around you, like, they have no choice. But I personally want to give you your flowers because Thanks. we're supposed to do that for each other. Like, so that's just what I personally um, want to do. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it.
appreciate that. So I'm giving you your flowers. Thank you. Because you, you that girl, you that girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. And I'm excited, and I do not take this lightly because I know you that girl too. And so, and if you, I'll be like, Dave gave me my flowers a long time ago, baby. So y'all just, you know, oh, she won this, she won that, okay. And don't worry, I'm just give you your flowers right on back. So we're going to remember this moment. It's a moment to remember. Exactly, but I want to give them to you now as well. Like I said, you are a writer, you are a director, you are a producer, and you are an actress. So I cannot wait to see what it is that God uses you for, how he uses you, um, and I just, I'm just just grateful to be a part of the journey. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed episode five of LA. Yeah. See you next week. <laughs> 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 <laughs>